Hi guys, welcome to Tom's Drum Bash. My name is Simon. And today I'm going to show you how easy it is to create and edit a user preset kit on eDrums. On almost all eDrum sets out on the market, you have the option of putting together your very own preset kits from either the existing sounds of the module or from sounds you import yourself. And today I want to show you how simple you can create, edit and adjust these kits and sounds with the Millennium MPS 1000 eDrum kit. You have two options to begin with. First, you go through all the kick, snare, hi-hat, crash, ride, effects and percussion sounds and write down which ones you like best. But that can take forever. Second, and also what I would recommend you to do, is to choose one of the preset kits as a starting point and then edit the sounds with the EQ, compressor, reverb or other onboard sound effects. Or even exchange them with a different sound out of the onboard sound library. So to change the sound you have to activate the trigger pad you'd like to put on a new sound by playing it. Then enter the edit section, choose the group of sounds, in this case a snare sound, switch to voice and then either click enter and pick a different sound or you use uh, the rotary wheel or the plus and minus buttons instead to scroll through the different sounds. Then exit, save, press enter and you're ready to go. Let me quickly show you the two kits I built for the in-depth review of this e-drum set. The first one is a John Bonham kind of sounding kit. He's very well known for an open tone pretty high-tuned, jazzy kind of drum sound inside the rock music genre. So within the onboard sounds, I looked for what I thought would be the most suitable sounds. In this case, the rock V3 snare, the vintage kick and the solid dry toms. And the only thing I did is to pitch the snare and toms as close as possible to the original sound. I didn't even have to pitch the kick because it sounds huge already. To get that big room kind of feel, I put the chorus room effect on the whole kit. The second one is a more personal kind of sounding kit where I adjusted the pitch of each drum, the EQ and I took a different reverb to get to the preferred sound. And the drum sounds I chose for this kit are as follows. Zoop. Let me quickly tell you a couple of tips when it comes to EQing drums. For the kick, it's always nice to add a little bit of 50 to 100 Hz for some great low end. The click and smack sound of the beater mostly can be found around 2 to 5k Hz depending on the kick drum and the sound you're looking for. When it comes to the snare drum, 
try a smile kind of looking EQ. A little boost at 100 to 200 Hz for body and a boost around 8 to 10k Hz for nice presence and clarity. You can even add a little bit of 3k and take off a little bit of 500 Hz according to your taste. The toms can get more warmth and tone at 100 and 200 Hz and a nice attack around 5k. But be aware that the EQ on the module, on this module, is capable of all sounds, not only for this preset kit. When you've put everything together according to your taste, all you have to do is to give it a name. And then save it. Pretty easy, right? All right, everybody, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, thoughts, or you just want to say hi, please leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so we see us again next week Wednesday in a new video. Until then, take care, Simon out. Bye bye.